And then for Max's final forecast <laughs> of case. Aww. Uh, bye bye to 1 a.m. <laughs> wake up calls. Say goodbye to those 1 a.m. wake up calls. Still can't believe you would do that and then go get a full workout in. <laughs> You're crazy. All right, you'll have more time for watching sports. That's a great I know point. that a lot of those games happen at night when you have to go to bed. And then I personally am forecasting future success Aww. and abundant joy for you, Max. It is Max's last day at KSAT. And <laughs> I just want to say, Max. You are a man of character. Thank you. You are not only one of the most um, uh, best journalists I know, but you take care of your friends. I'll never forget. Uh, I, me and my husband were moving into our apartment, and we <laughs> we we could we didn't want to get movers, but Max came. Called in the real movers, Max came, <laughs> and he uh, he helped carry those that. Ex Couch four flights of stairs up that to that apartment. Who would have known? <laughs> you are a good friend, a great journalist, and I know with all my heart that you are going to be so successful in this next chapter. Max is going to be a lawyer. He's going to be a great lawyer. You. you and Paige are going to just do so well in your next chapter in life, and I'm so lucky. I I know you, and I love you, bud. You're Thank awesome. you. Thank um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm. It's the allergies. It's the dang pollen. You know. I'm trying my hardest not to cry. Um, Messing up the wingtips. Yeah, I know. I put on wingtips this morning. I don't know why I did that. Um, okay, Max. Um, okay. So to our viewers, mm -hmm. you guys might watch and think that you know we just like to have a lot of fun and that this is easy and our newscast is seamless. But what you don't see are. <laughs> I hate you so much, <laughs> um, are all the sacrifices that go into yes. making this newscast possible. And I'm going to kill you for making me cry on live TV, Max. Um, we sacrifice a lot of weekend events, a lot of time with our family, a lot of time with our loved ones. <laughs> Paige, you are a saint. I'm talking to Max's girlfriend who's behind the scenes right now um, for putting up with this man and his schedule. Um, so. Getting up at five in the morning, or I'm sorry, getting here at five in the morning, right. those early wake up calls between two and 3 a.m. Um, can be pretty miserable on the weekends. And sometimes you get in at five and you're just like, I hate everyone and everything. <laughs> and, um, but when I get in and when I, the moment I see both of you and you, Max, um, all that fades. And so thank you so much for making this job not just doable, um, but enjoyable. Exciting. And I feel like I get to work with my best friends every single day. So it's like jokes on KSAT, they're paying us to work. <laughs> <laughs> but really, we're just like getting to work alongside our best friends. And it's been so, so amazing. And I'm going to miss that so much. You have no idea. Um, so thank you, and I'm going to miss your positivity and your enthusiasm and your let's go <laughs> yell. Let's go. He yells it does about two minutes before we go on air at 6 a.m. and always jolts me and wakes me up. Um, and Max, you're my true uh, twin flame co-anchor <laughs> um, because you read my mind um, by just looking at me. You finish my sentences and. Um, down to you want it to be just like me so much you ruptured your Achilles. Yeah, I had to. We now have matching hokas for those. Who <laughs> and I was going to say, t like at this very moment, we are twinning. We're wearing the exact same shoes under the desk right now. <laughs> um, and I am so, so darn proud of you. Max is the hardest worker I know. He sends our producers an email every morning with a list of all of the important things that we should talk about. Now I have to do it. Darn it, Max. <laughs> um, and Max has been going to school while working full time and you worked so hard. I'm so proud of you and I cannot wait till you're the best attorney there is. And I get to tell all of my friends that that's my best friend and hopefully you don't have to represent me. But if you do, I'm going to be so honored to give you that call. Well, thank you guys. Thank you both. And as you probably know, today is my last newscast. So obviously I'm going to get to the Sarah's in just a few moments. Um, but I want to thank all of our viewers. After more than six amazing years, this is an incredibly bittersweet goodbye. And look, we've, we've been through a lot together. Uh, whether it was multiple torn Achilles, um, <laughs> the pandemic, inflation, we tried to tell the stories that we thought were important and that you told us were important. 
We always strive to be transparent, honest, respectful, and truthful. But at the same time, we know that this can be a really dark place. And so we always tried to start the day with a smile. I really believe that we were able to cultivate a family atmosphere, not only here at the station, but hopefully you guys at home felt part of that family. For me personally, I can't say enough about the community in and around San Antonio welcoming us, me, into your home weekend after weekend to the incredible producers, directors, engineers, web team, assignments desk, who put up with me. <laughs> uh, I know I'm not the easiest person to work with. I also know I don't stick to the script, literally or metaphorically. <laughs> you are right now, though. You're doing kind great. Kind of. I'm doing OK. <laughs> I'm still deviating, so I appreciate Cynthia, who, who's sticking with me. Um, but I, I can't say this enough. I say this with my entire heart. I appreciate everyone's here. Flexibility, the laughs, and really the camaraderie day in and day out, regardless of the time or day, time of night. And to the Sarahs, you guys have really made San Antonio home. And I could not imagine the last few years having to wake up at 2 a.m. to come to work and you guys not being by my side. So thank you for literally and metaphorically being by my side throughout this. And no matter what happens next, San Antonio and all of you out there, all of you who have inundated my social media, my emails throughout the last few weeks, you will always, especially you guys here, will always have a special place in my heart. I have to put my glasses on so no one can, <laughs> no one can see me cry. Well, and now Sarah Cosa with the top tier glasses. <laughs> We're grateful for you, Max. Max, we love you. We miss you. Best of luck. If you ever need an attorney, call Max Massey. <laughs>